where she was going, you see. And I had a good idea who she was meeting. It wasn't so much that she was carrying on. It was the fact that she and they and all the others before them took such pleasure in Dad not realizing to come back from Corston and strangled her with a pair of tights. She was drunk and I'm quite strong. Widger and King wouldn't come forward when we reported her missing. The downside was that Dad actually did miss her. His health was already deteriorating anyway, and the manor just suddenly seemed too big. The cottage was right for him, though. He's been happy there. Until the ink pen started digging up the past, huh? If he discovered what my mother was really like, it would have broken his heart. He didn't have much time left anyway. Better to finish it gently without the truth. He was such an innocent. I couldn't bear him to lose that right at the end. But it's still murder, Miss Bennett. And you have to understand that, uh, given your very clear reason for not wanting the memorial garden dug up, you are now the prime suspect for the deaths of Felicity Inkpen and her mother. What I've done, I've done for my father. I'm not a homicidal maniac. I hated my mother, not the infants. Others hated them. Don't build up your hopes. Not while there are still three of them left. Merciless bloodsuckers. Bloodsuckers? 
was an odd expression in the context of what was going on at Inkpen Manor. 